Thanks a lot. Yeah, here I am at the boat ramp here in Fulton, where earlier today I met with members of the uh, Mississippi Wildlife Fisheries and Parks about boating safety. And uh, it's a very unique operation they call Operation Dry Water. It's an effort to keep people off the waters uh, from drinking and using drugs. It starts this weekend. If everybody would just hold a hold one up for me. All right. Outstanding. Also, sir, I need to check your your registration on the front. Have you sent off for your registration yet? Yes, sir. You have. Outstanding. Okay. Captain Jason Young is a conservation officer with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries, and Parks. This was a demonstration of what it will look like if you are pulled over on state waters this weekend. It's called Operation Dry Water, and the emphasis is on making sure no one is drinking or using drugs while using state waters. Well, alcohol is one of the leading contributors to the recreational boating uh, fatalities. Uh, just stats show that the use of alcohol and drugs on the water do not mix. He adds that alcohol causes poor coordination and lack of reaction time. He also says sunlight, waves, and wind can cause problems for boaters too. So officers Young, Roberts, and McFerrin have allowed me to take a ride here on a 10 ton waterway. It's a way to show how they will enforce things this weekend to make sure that Mississippi waters remain safe. We'll be stepping up patrols and we will uh, this weekend, just because it's Operation Dry Water, the rest of the summer, winter, uh, it's a year-round effort. An effort that smart boaters know is worth it. Oh yeah, it keeps people safe out here. Always better for them to be on the water. Yeah. And uh, just standing here and observing, there are a lot of people taking to the water today. So uh, this is a program, Operation Dry Water, that was started, a national program, back in 2009. Reporting live here in Fulton at the Waterway, I'm Wayne Herford, WTVA 9 News.